Hello and welcome to Thomas's Tarot Page with myself, Thomas Janak. My guest this month is Kathy Kane. Hello. Welcome. And um, she is obviously available for readings. And I leave the link to her Facebook page in the description box. This is what's called the description box down below. Oh, it's weird when, when, when you actually, there's nothing around you. It's like, you know, it's just the screen is here in the box below. I see people do this, you know, watch the video here. And then it does it bloody doesn't come. It goes somewhere else, right? So yeah. I always like that. I should do that. I should sort of put five videos in. Okay, all right. So, anyway, don't so. mind me. <laughs> so we're looking at the energy of Sagittarius. Now remember Sagittarius, when it comes to your imprint, the trait that you have, you are depicted by the archer. And what that means is if you want things to come to you, you decide how far back you have to pull the bow for the arrow to actually do something. So a lot of the stuff that happens to you in your life, to a certain extent is a bit unfortunate, but it is an imprint that you have, only happens when you are proactive about it. So unfortunately, when you are hoping that opportunities will come to you while they will present themselves, you don't always necessarily look at them either. So what I'm getting is before we go into the, into the cards here, is for you to understand that, especially this month, you know, August, um, it is really important to, to look at the things the way you want things to happen and say to people, that's how I want it to do. So my feeling is that you have to put people almost in their place. It's not like saying, I need more space. It's not about space, it's about, it's about telling people off, if that makes sense. So um, sounds like a, an exciting month, such as here, yes. <laughs> Good luck. Anyway, so what we will do is we will, we will look at uh, three different areas here. We will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we then look into your emotional core. Emotional core has to do with love and whatever can come. I feel like I said it before, but I probably said it in another video. Didn't I? I, didn't, I didn't mention this. Anyway, so I mentioned it here. <laughs> if I said it twice, tough luck, but I, I only work here. <laughs> so we will look at the overall energy, then the emotional core, which means is there love coming in, is there stuff that needs to leave? Um, and then we're looking at opportunities, and opportunities for the most part are about what sustains you financially. Okay, with no further ado, here's the overall energy for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of August 2022. Okay, Sagittarius. So, um, the overall energy that's presenting itself is that this is going to be the month of choices for you. Um, there's going to be different courses that your life could take you, well, different paths that your life could lead you down. And it's just basically a time for you to think about you know what is going to be best for you your energy um and and just your life in general okay thank you very much and it's interesting because when it comes to your emotional core which means how do i feel about things it doesn't always have to be about love mm -hmm. it's about how do i see the world how do i see things and because you mentioned choices mm -hmm. the guys here clearly saying to you when it comes to to how you feel about things um, you are very close to achieving your goal. So whatever you manifest, whatever you feel is a bit missing from your life, keep manifesting it. Really, really important. Don't um, block things. Don't don't doubt. Doubt has no space in your in your in your on your journey. It just closes doors. It does nothing. And yet, a lot of people doubt. It's part mm -hmm. of it's it's probably um, part of our condition, I suppose. Right bit of crap <laughs> that we sort of have to carry with you. But you, well, when the guys are saying things like you're very close to achieving, what that means is, like I said, I said that earlier in sort of introduction, things cannot just come to you by default, if that makes sense. You are the person that has to say, um, I'm, 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 I'm ready for this, I deserve this, because even though Sagittarius is not a sign that deals with a lot of self-esteem issues per se, but it is because you always need to do something to get somewhere somewhere it feels like that nothing really comes to you and that's not really what's happening it's just in order for the energy to to really reach you you have to be a bit more aware mm -hmm. and when you're just thinking well nothing's going to happen this month or I don't know, but that kind of sort of talk which is a doubtful talk and that can close doors so be open-minded you know be very positive you know maybe you know it's, it's august good weather you know maybe an outdoor gig and in no time someone is going to buy you a coffee there and the rest is going to be awesome but if this is what's coming here but the point is it feels to me you know the more the more outgoing you are 
doesn't have to be a gig, but whatever. Yeah. Um, the better this all will be. Okay, that was the overall, uh, sorry, that was the, um, the emotional core. And now finally, we're looking at um, opportunities as they present themselves to you for the month of August 2022. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Now, how this works is you donate a fiver. You can donate up to 15 pounds, which means three coffees for me, right? And then uh, monthly I can send that money and it helps because it's a free service. You know, for instance, so let, sometimes um, I had a thing where I needed a new mic and the coffee money would pay for it, right. which is um, a nice gesture. And I do love my coffee. I really do. <laughs> anyway, here, is the, um, here are the opportunities for the month of August 2022 for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, so the opportunities. Um, the reading that we've got from this is fantastic. Just go for it, Sagittarius. Um, reach for the stars, you know, the, the sky's the limit with you at the moment. Um, so yeah, just simply, just go for it. Yeah, and yeah. It, it follows nicely from this, you mm -hmm. know, go to a gig, let, let your hair down. I yes. Suppose, thing. That's perfect. So it's all good, right? Sagittarius, thank you so much. See you all next month. Bye-bye.